Last but not least, we got to talk about Trump because he finally made a public statement. It kind of, sort of, kind of just a little impromptu one. It was, he was down there at Mar-a-Lago just chilling, having some lunch, going to go play a round of golf, and the fucking guy deserves it, okay? I kind of figured he'd be out of the spotlight for, what, like a few weeks, probably about a month, and then he'll start to get itchy and want to do something, and that's kind of his hopes of what he's trying to do right now because somebody came up to him. He was just, you know what? Just chilling, like I said, having a bite to eat before he hits the links again. He said, first thing he said, okay, publicly, after taking off from Joint Base Andrews and landing in Florida, we'll do something, but not just yet. There we go. Case closed. Kind of figured that was, yeah, that was a stance. That's kind of what everybody was thinking. And Washington Examiner, yeah, went down there and seen him in the grill room at the Trump International Golf Club, an aide to the former chief executive, then swoop, swooped in swiftly, but politely ended the interaction, and yeah, just just let him chill. The dude's been under the fucking microscope for, what, five years? Shit is crumbling all around him, but you know what? It looked like a nice-ass day out there, so fair enough. Yeah, let's get a little bit of background before we dive into the impeachment as well. He needs a break. Said an aide earlier this week. I think we all just hope he plays golf for a month and then, but he's always has to be on the go. Yeah, it's kind of his MO and that's basically what he's been about. But yeah, let's just round this off. Trump has let it be known that he's considering another run at the White House in 2024. Reports also suggest that he's considering setting up a new party, the Patriot Party, as a vehicle to run for office. Oh, okay, I'll just add my little spin on this and this entire article. Okay, as much as I love the Washington Examiner, uh, it's a little bit of a puff piece to be completely honest. And, uh, not even a little, it's, it's quite a puff piece, but that's all right. And what they bring up here is the Patriot Party, okay? I think this is just a classic Trump move of asking for the world and then just settling back to what you kind of expected and what you wanted, okay? A third party would be the last resort. More than likely, there are still a bunch of great people in the Republican Party. Madison Cawthorn, who we talked about in the previous video, Matt Gates, Ted Cruz, Josh Hawley, Lauren Bobbert, a bunch of those new first-term congressmen and women uh, are there. They're all about Trump. They're all about the populist movement, and you just love to see it. And we've gone over this a bunch, but the Republican base is still wildly behind Trump. And with all of the stuff that's going on right now with Biden, uh, you got to think that the blowback is going to be strong, and it's only going to make Trump look better in the long term. So people who are devout Republicans are probably going to want him and his style of politics to return in 2022. And the Patriot Party is just kind of a last-ditch effort to supplant the GOP if they are going to fucking nosedive off a cliff in the midterms. But I still hold to my prediction that Trump will be around in 2024 running for president and we're going to get the 82-year-old Biden against the 78-year-old Trump. Not excited about the ages, but I'd love to see it happen. But it also said here earlier in this article that, yes, minutes earlier, House Democratic leaders announced that they intended to send the articles of impeachment to the Senate on Monday. So we know when they're going to be going up. And now, a little bit later in the day, we found out when everything is scheduled because Chuck Schumer says Trump's impeachment trial will begin on February 9th. So, two weeks for Monday, and then, yeah, Trump's right back in it. So much for holding it off for as long as possible, seeing how Biden's honeymoon's gonna play out, but I guess they're just kind of figuring that's going over like a fart in church right now. So, you need to kind of clear that out and get Trump back in there because there's only so many puff pieces that they can possibly run right now that... Um, will make Biden look like an actual real functional person and not like somebody with a savior complex right now. It's it's wild what's happening, but you guys already know that. So let's just make this one short and sweet. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer announced on Friday that former President Donald Trump's impeachment trial will begin on February 9th. Can we just stop and realize how ridiculous that is? Former President's impeachment trial. Impeachment is a method to, well... It's a highest form of censure that you can uh, apply to an elected official. Trump would be much better served just golfing because he's not an elected official anymore. Much to my dismay, but then be the breaks. For the information of all senators, the House managers will come to read the article of impeachment at 7 p.m. on Monday, January 25th, Schumer said. Members will then be sworn in the next day, Jan or Tuesday, January 26th. 
After both, oh, after that, both the house managers and the defense will have a period of time to draft their legal briefs, just as they did in previous trials. During that period, the Senate will continue to do other business for the American people, such as cabinet nominations and the COVID relief bill, which will provide relief for millions of Americans. And it is stuffed with awful shit. We covered that earlier this week or the end of last week. I can't quite remember, but it's $1.9 trillion worth of garbage, 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 garbage. Then once the briefs are drafted, oh, I'm sorry, which would, I was correct. Parties will commence the week of February 8th the january 6th insurrection at the capitol it's funny how they can just you know pervert language but that's that's the breaks kids incited by yeah, donald j trump that's president you fucker was a day none of us will ever forget and i hope you don't especially in two weeks time we will want to put that awful chapter in our nation's history behind us how about by not following through on the impeachment but yeah that's not your style anyways but healing and unity will only come after there is literal healing and forced unity. Oh, I'm sorry, after there's truth and accountability. And that is what this trial will provide. No, it won't, Chuck. You don't believe that. You're just calling people fucking white supremacists, insurrectionists, left, right, and center. Literally. You could care less about unity. All you guys care about is submission. And it's something we've been over quite a bit, and it just can't be stated any stronger because, well, that was the entire point of Chuck Schumer getting up there saying that kind of stuff. And I understand that, yeah, okay, the Senate would be much better served just putting through those radical cabinet nominations, and a lot of those people are just completely off the fucking deep end. And also John Kerry, who's just terrible at his fucking job. But Oh, and Pete Buttjudge going to be in charge of transportation, who, which apparently is racist. Maybe that's another story for another day, but who gives a shit? But we'll wrap this up by showing you guys what Chuck Schumer said. Listen to what he said addressing the Senate earlier today. It's, uh, it, it's classic. It's classic. But make no mistake. There will be a trial, and when that trial ends, senators will have to decide if they believe Donald John, Donald John Trump incited the erection, insurrection against the United States. Well, I guess we know who's going to be steady, ready, and awaiting those proceedings in the Senate come February 9th. I thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.